Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Kickstarter in the current year, where everything is new and awesome, and these goggles are extremely reflective, so you, you can see literally everything I'm looking at on my screen. My hands are fucking massive. So you know, if there's any secrets I'm hiding in this room, any easter eggs, you can you can try and spot them now. Give me more watch time by rewinding the video like 50 times to, to see if there's... Ooh, what is that? It's a window. Wow. But for today's project, it's been quite some time since we've looked at a uh, terrible tech project that is like done quite professionally, but at the same time you look at it and you look at it a little bit deeper uh, just like with cheer dots, and I need to make a cheer dots update. So I really do. Uh, you realize that oh no, this this is actually just garbage that is being peddled on Kickstarter, as there usually is. We came close to it with Gripple, but Gripple just lacked that certain je ne sais quoi that uh, we're definitely getting with the all-in-one AR glasses for all Android apps and scene. The only AR glasses all-in-one machine that supports all Android apps can adapt to both sofas or fixed scenes, as well as mobile usage. Now, setting aside the terrible translation work, uh, I, I love this uh, line where they say that it supports all Android apps. All of them. I don't think it does. I don't think, I don't think all apps on Google Play are uh, made to be used with, like, goggles that you control like this. Holy shit, I actually have got oh my god. I never pl I didn't plan for this, but I actually have goggles on me that I can use to use to visualize how shit the project is. Oh my god. 75% of the content in this video has been completed. What does that mean? <laughs> is it saying that 75% of the features in in this uh, video are available in the product currently? Um or, or, is, or is the video 75% complete and there's 25% of the video with more features that we don't see? I don't know, Assu I assume it's the first option? This has been machine translated or something because it's at times completely incomprehensible. Right off the bat I want to say, Sure, it's cute, it's cute, it's cool, it's futuristic to have, like, everything you need in your goggles, right? It's, like, so epic. But at the same time, it is a new control scheme that you really need to get used to. And, of course, they're, they're gonna show this person just very smoothly switching between apps with, like, zero issues. Because this is all just, it's not real, it's rendered. They say it's 75% com complete, this is not a real interaction on the device. Obviously, but like the the fact that you you would intuitively just go whoosh 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 and with with just a couple of motions of your fingers uh, Be on the right app and switch to the different side of it and all that it's It is of course very impressive if you manage to do this I don't think there's a lot of people who will immediately be able to do it. It'll take some adjusting That's not it's not a criticism of the product in general. It's just you know if, if you if you order a product like this temper your expectations this is unrelated to the product, for a moment I just thought he was talking to his bike there. He might have been, I don't fucking know. I actually just got a call to get a package uh, from, from the door and uh, it's, it's actually more eyewear. I cannot stop collecting things to put on my stupid eyeballs. You know, so maybe I should get these goggles as well. Clearly, that's just that they'll just be fueling my addiction. Right? You know, I, I understand a lot of it. Opening TikTok, watching a video, answering a call. How is he typing? How is he opening up the powerpoints, and I mean, that, that, that makes sense, but how is he typing? Is there a keyboard on the side of the, like, the goggles? Because that, that is going to be horrible to get used to. You're going to have to figure out where each button on your keyboard is, I assume? Or, or this has to connect to another device with an actual keyboard, 
at which point the other device is likely a phone and that and, and why not just use your phone at that point this is like listen I understand how this is all cu cool and futuristic phones can just do this shit phones will do this they'll do it better they're cheaper they're not just constantly strapped to your face you don't look like an asshole for using your phone you do look like an asshole for using this that's the that's the gist of it Hello, Tommy. <laughs> You know, I didn't think they could- I didn't think this guy could look more like an asshole. This is one of those cases where when you put two of these people together, they look even more like ass clowns. Like, oh my goodness. You would see this- I would see this scene of these two dudes wearing these stupid things on their faces. I didn't understand the irony. Wearing these two stupid things on their faces and talking to each other. And I would want to die. Okay, that was bullshit. <laughs> I'm okay. That was that. I'm going to just hazard the, a guess. This is completely a guess. That is part of the 25% that is not real yet. That was the that that was probably some. That's probably something they're still working on. The realistic AR battles, Soul War. I don't think that exists yet. I'm gonna go ahead and say. That one's still in the concept phase, because what the fuck did we just watch? So they both spawn in, and he like summons a blast, and he does a slash that hits him, and then he taps the side of the glasses and generates like a fucking force field. No, that is not what would happen, and through what actual means does this, like, these glasses, these goggles, which have buttons on the side, how are they interpreting you waving your hands around in front of you and like throwing fireballs or something? They're not. They're not doing that. There's nothing in them that would do this. So this is just bullshit. At this point, I'm just like a bit done with the video. It, it just keeps going. It just keeps showing off features that this thing definitely has and is definitely fully functional with uh, but if we scroll down you'll see a bunch of like schematics you'll see a bunch of details and um, that's good you know you compare that to something like cheer dots or some other tech projects we looked at they actually fully provide you with information about what is going in uh, the uh, the goddamn goggles including the uh, the computer chip in them now, the problem with that is that you can then look up the chip that they're using. The MediaTek Helio G95 is an upper mainstream ARM SoC for smartphones, mainly Android based, that was introduced in 2020. It is manufactured in a 12 nanometer FinFET process and is equipped with two times big ARM Cortex A76 cores with up to 2.05 gigahertz and six times small and power efficient uh, ARM Cortex A55 cores, max two gigahertz. It's a lot of shit, and obviously, someone better with computers would understand this better. But there are some key things here. It's a 2020 product, which again, which means it's not like the newest. It is a mid-range microchip from 2020, which for a lot of things would be completely fine. Uh, it sort of uh, isn't that amazing when you consider their claims, though. The claim they opened up with was that this will th thing will run every Android app. It's compatible with every Android app. That is a very bold claim. Your, I, I don't know if this you are or your platform will be able to host various AI apps and utilize almost all of their AI functions. The platform itself will also have its own system level AI applications to facilitate user use of the product like voice control. Almost all of their AI functions. Well, the almost is doing a lot of heavy lifting here because how the fuck can you make this claim? You don't know what's you don't know what the AI apps are, what their AI functions will be, but I can pretty much tell you for sure, I don't think most apps which utilize your CPU for AI purposes, like, you know, running the, the network locally or something, I don't think those will function on this mid-ranged microchip that they are. You know, that's the point that Lobster brought up, and 
I, I'm inclined to agree. As someone who knows very little about these things, I'm inclined to agree. A project like this, it relies on people who don't know what the hell they're looking at, who don't know the things about microchips, who wouldn't bother looking them up, they would just see it listed and go, well, they're using a microchip, so it's gotta be good. Whatever they deliver, and, you know, their funding goal is $128,000, uh, they have 47 days to go, but I don't think they will reach this goal, even though they have uh, raised $2,113 from three backers, uh, so I assume here, I'll, I'll look at the reward tiers in a second, I assume that uh, like two people have bought this thing. Um, I don't think they're going to reach this goal, but if they do, uh, I, I really think that whatever they're showcasing here is obviously going to be scaled the hell back significantly when they start mass producing this thing. It's going to be as cheaply made as they can get it, which is kind of standard for 90% of like tech projects on this website. Now, one thing they have done that I appreciate is they've limited the number they can even sell, which is uh, 999. Uh, it costs 5,000 Hong Kong dollars, uh, looks like roughly 640 uh, USD. Uh, so, you know, it's it's pretty decent, pretty decent price for everything they're alleging this thing can do. It can essentially replace your smartphone. It 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 won't, but it can apparently. Uh, so that's pretty decent, and they actually have three backers, I assumed one of those was like the, the $1 pledging bot, but no, three of these things have been sold. But if you uh, spend 10,000 Hong Kong dollars, and that is about $1,280, uh, you will get the next product, Phone Time for Smart Gals. <laughs> uh, it's, it's supposed to be glass, but it's gals here, so... It's Phone Time for Smart Gals. Which is um, a choice to be made to <laughs> purchase a product that doesn't exist yet and might never exist, frankly, because they're only like really promising this first one. So, like I said, uh, I will want to do an update on Cheer Dots because the delivery of those and reviews for those uh, has been about what you'd expect. It's, it, it's not looking too good, uh, but I want to look at it separately. I actually want to see if I can get my hands on a Cheer Dots and see if my. Uh, concerns were as valid, uh, but that's gonna do it for this video uh, Let's see where this project goes because maybe it will get made even if the project doesn't succeed uh, So yeah tune in next time and I will be eating ass My eyes are so goddamn sweaty Confidence you've inspired so much confidence here when the devil knocks As you can see right here on my iPad Oh, that's an also uh, another amazing way to present uh, <laughs> present material for your video. Just hold up your fucking iPad to the camera. Here, as you can see uh, on my uh, phone here, this is going to be a very pivotal for uh, the project uh, in in the future. That's actually what I just did was actually better because I actually I, I put the.